everyone. I am your astrologer, Wonder Girl, taking you to new heights. Here is your daily forecast for the day of Friday, February 9th, 2018. Now what we've got going on today is the moon hanging out right here in Sagittarius, which brings our attention, of course, to doing something new that we have not done before. Also traveling uh, and adventuring in some way, perhaps studying, learning something um, that you did not previously know. Okay, Sagittarius also brings our attention to, of course, to our beliefs and what we believe about life and how we understand our life and the life it is that we are currently living. Okay, so I think that's what we are thinking about today. All right, with the moon last night, very end of the night and into the morning around midnight, making a conjunction here to Mars, I think that was super powered. <laughs> Lots of doing things, being very excitable about life, trying new things, being out and about, uh, coming in. As to where for most of the day with the moon void in Sagittarius, it may have been hard for us to get things done, to make things happen, to do things. I think when the moon started coming on top of Mars at the very, very, very end of yesterday and into today, we started to feel more of that motivation here to do things, to get things done and to make things happen, okay? Because it's in Sagittarius, we're feeling more motivated to do things we haven't done before, be more excitable and exploratory, and of course to make more sense of our life and to start to understand our life better than it is than we have previously, okay? So that's what I see going on yesterday and into today. Then at 9 a.m. Mountain Time, the moon moves a little bit further through Sagittarius and makes a square over here to Neptune and Pisces. So as you were trying to do something new, explore, learn something, and just understand your life better in a really big way with the Mars conjunction, there could be some confusion coming in. Maybe confused about some new thing that it is that you're doing or some new way of making sense of your life. Maybe with the Mars conjunction, there are so many new things and so many new ideas here that you don't know which one to choose or how to move forward on it. Okay, I think that could be something that does come up. If it's not confusion, it could just be feeling uncomfortable. There's a lot of new things going on in your life that you have not done before, a new way of making sense of your life. It could also be you trying to figure out, okay, now how do I make sense of this? How do I get comfortable now that I'm doing something I have not done before and seeing my life in different ways, okay? So that could be a thing that comes up. As always, with Neptune needing to be creative, could bring lots of creativity too that could come around 9 a.m. mountain time really helping you to yeah to to do some new things and to really get right with it spiritually as well and I think that's what you're trying to figure out having lots of excitement lots of things you're working on lots of things about your life you're trying to understand here and needing to make sure that your spirit is on board that they resonate with you internally so that you can move forward in a way that feels better for you okay on the inside all right so i think that's what is going on there then after that happens around noon mountain time the moon comes into a trine with the north node um and of course a sextile here with the south node since they're exactly opposite each other <laughs> and as a result with mercury being very close by it also comes into a sextile here with mercury okay all around the same time so as we're trying to do something new and make sense of our life and maybe feeling a little bit confused as we're trying to make sense of our life or maybe feeling a little bit uncomfortable because we have not done this new thing before, I think there is some kind of good stuff that does come in here with the, with the North Node where we start to feel happier about our life in some way. We start to feel like we're making more progress, doing some things that it is that we need to do, really engaging with our life and moving forward. All right, I also think with the sextile over here coming to Mercury in the South Node that we're starting, I think, to better understand our life, even if there was some confusion earlier, um, and to better get some of the insights that we need. There could also be lots of communication, too, that does come up around noon as well. You talking to people about something new that you're doing or about some new way of making sense of your life, I think that could come in as well. You also trying to work out with people some new goals and some new visions and some new dreams of where you see your life going now that so much has changed the past few weeks and months. Okay, so see that coming in as to where the beginning of the day, maybe you were a little like confused about what new thing you were doing or about how you were making sense of your life. I think towards the end of the day, you start to feel much better about some new thing you're doing. You start to get more, a bit more understanding in life, more clarity as you're trying to move forward on some things. Okay, 
and really just needing to again sit with the confusion and sit with some uncertain feelings because it's going to get better <laughs> towards the end of the day and you're going to feel like you know all of this time that you spent trying to understand see your life in different ways understand new things do different things i think in the end even if there is a little bit of patch that's hard in the morning is going to help you to the at the end of the day to get more clarity to understand your life better to consider more of your possibilities and to open more opportunities up for you um to see to see your life in different ways okay so that's what i see going on there then after that happens around noon the next aspect of the moon or yeah the moon is going to make is at midnight okay tonight and into tomorrow and the moon is going to sextile the sun hanging out very closely they're all hanging out together uh here and I think what that's going to bring is, again, you really beginning to identify with your future, with where you see your life going, to dream new dreams, to move forward in a way where you feel like, you know what, I'm, I'm getting more of an understanding of my life. I'm starting to feel much better, okay, and put my life in the right spot. That really begins to resonate with me. And I'm starting to feel more comfortable living my life, <laughs> okay? So that's what I see going on today. And I see really the hard part being mostly the morning, like 9 a.m., and then I see See it getting much better all right and i think what's going on this morning just to synthesize to go back over everything is i think we're really just trying to understand our life more to try a whole bunch of new things and experiment here with options and possibilities to see if we can understand our life feel better about our life and move forward in a way that feels more comfortable for us resonates more with us and can help us achieve some big goals and dreams of ours and i think after we wrestle with some confusion and some uncertainty i think more towards the nighttime we start to feel like you know all this crazy sagittarius energy exploring trying new things you know is really starting to pay off where now we're starting to get more of a clear picture and more of a better outline and details of where it is that we need to go next all right so that's what i'm going to leave you with there now other things going on in the background here we've got Mercury on the south node. Lots of talking going on today, especially with the moon sextiling this spot. Lots of communication, maybe you know excessive communication, excessive worry. Uh, just be make just make sure that whatever you're talking about here is productive, has a purpose, and can help you see things in the right way. And I think today you're going to have a chance to do that with the moon. Okay, another thing, I don't know if this is happening for you all, but I've been having horrible problems with my electronics and just weird communication stuff. This just things not working right with the internet, people communicating weird going on. I attribute that a lot as well to Mercury in the South Node. So just be, um, be careful of that here and try to clear up any confusion if you can and be more conscious about the way that you communicate so that there aren't so many problems <laughs> that can happen. Okay, so that's what I see going on there. We also do have the sun here hanging out in Aquarius, also coming into a square with Jupiter too. So we're wanting to move forward on some big goals, some big visions and some big dreams of ours here. But again, having to make some big changes in order to let some new goals and dreams of ours in, especially new goals and dreams that we're starting to come to understand better today. Okay, lots of changes we have to make in order to move forward on some vision coming in. And also with the square to Jupiter could bring up some uncomfortable feelings feelings that we need to address before moving forward. Maybe we have a vision that we see for our life. Maybe today, especially, we're starting to get more clarity on where we see our life going and take some big steps forward um, to move in that direction. But I think maybe it's feeling a little bit uncomfortable. We have some deep emotions. Maybe that's not what we wanted. We didn't want this goal for our future. We didn't want this direction, okay? And really having to learn here how to rearrange our emotional states and to change our life in a really deep and big and intimate way so that we can start to associate with some new goals and dreams, move forward on some big visions and to feel more comfortable about it emotionally okay and I think we're trying to work that out today we're trying to feel better emotionally about where your life is going and to get more excited about it and I think you just have to make sure that as you are starting to get more excited about where your life is going that you're doing what needs to be done to adjust your emotional states and to adjust the rest of your life here to get on board with some new goal or dream or vision that you're about to step into in a really big way at the solar eclipse all right so that's what i see there um what else is going on uranus also in a sextile or venus also in a sextile here with uranus 
to coming into unexpected things in relationships. They actually see being very good, <laughs> very good unexpected things coming up with other people here. Maybe other people helping you to get more insights about your life in some way. Other people helping you to understand yourself better coming in. Other people helping you to, yeah, reach some big goals and dreams of yours. Maybe money as well. Positive things coming in with money. Maybe maybe they're unexpected in some way, but I think you unexpectedly may be trying to organize your money um, in, in a way that's better for you so that you can feel more comfortable on the inside. And I think the sextile Uranus is bringing in some last minute things here, especially the, I mean, the eclipse. You're going to have the sun right after the eclipse here make a sextile to Uranus. So I think there's lots of unexpected insights and lots of unexpected gifts that can come even if they don't feel like it right now that are going to fall into place to help us work better with people and to um, use our money better even if we have to you know have some hard conversations in the process and figure out some of the details there okay so I see that going on all right so I think that's what I'm going to talk about today now for your card for the day I have the star reversed this card I think, I think this is, yeah, I think we're trying to find our place in the world, you know, that's to me what I see the star, is we're trying to figure out, you know, out of all the stars in the sky, it's kind of weird, it's like so meta to be talking about stars while I'm doing astrology, but it's like out of all the stars in the sky, like where's our star, like where do we fit in, you know, like where's our place, and I think that's what we're trying to figure out today, especially with this moon in Sagittarius, and it's like we keep pointing me like, is that my star? You know, is that me? You know, or like sometimes I'll do that at night with the constellations. I'm like, is that Gemini? Or is this, is that Orion? I'm not sure. And I think that's what we're like trying to figure out is like, where is our star? Where is our spot? And I think the moon in Sagittarius has us like pointing around like, maybe this life is for me. No, 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 this life is for me. No, 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 no. This is what I'm supposed to do next. Like, let me try this. And, um, and I think that's what we're trying to figure out. And I think it could feel a little bit hard and a little bit difficult. Like we don't know where we fit in among like all the stars in the sky or among everything else that's going on in our life and all the things that have happened and all the people in our life going on. And I think the message of today with this card is to like a not worried if you ha not to worry if you haven't found your place yet like you'll find it <laughs> you know if you just keep trying you know that's a part of the journey to enjoy the journey okay and i think this is also a message too that like it's coming you know it's coming you know and i think that it's just like a really i don't know beautiful opportunity here to to be able to ask those questions today about who you are and about where you fit and uh, and to try to put everything together but there's lots of places that you can fit in uh, with this card and I think lots of opportunities and I think it's just a matter of trying out enough opportunities, trying out enough options, considering enough of your possibilities here before the right one will fall into place and to just know that it will fall into place, that there is a place for you here, but, um, but it just may take some time in order for all the pieces to start coming together. All right, so that's what I'm going to leave with you before I start rambling on some more. Thank you so much for watching my horoscope. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like it on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and I will talk to you later.